Hey, it's Carl Willis with the Remodeling Marketing Team. If you have not downloaded our free book, Internet Marketing for Home Remodeling Companies, be sure and do that. There is a link in the description. Today, what I want to get into with you is some changes that Google has made over this past summer that are going to really change the way marketing takes place. And as I tell you this, also realize Facebook is doing something similar. So as you're planning your strategy going forward, one of the things you're going to want to focus on is moving in line with what these larger platforms are doing. So I'm screen sharing with you right now, and I'm currently in Wichita, Kansas. So I just pulled the uh, search for home remodeling. And what I want you to see is the way that this page is laid out. You've got a pack of ads here. There are four of them at the top of the page. Then you've got the maps here as well. And in that map listing, you have what's called the three pack. This three pack is Google business listings, Wichita Homeworks being one of our clients. We're happy to see them showing at the top of the search. And what I want you to understand is what Google is really doing. And I want you to see how they've indexed uh, this entire search query. So they've put their advertising first. They've got a knowledge card over to the right. Now in some locations you're going to see even a company name in that knowledge card. But then they've got the maps and they've got the business listing. So what we have to realize is much of what Google is doing today is based on the location of the search the behavior of the searcher and what they're trying to do is keep that searching entity that person so if i'm making that search they want to keep me here because they can continue to advertise to me and collect more data about me you have to remember that their main business model is data it's not search it's data it's learning about you and i and those who are going to be our customers so part of what we're wanting to do in our google business listing is we want to start matching up to the types of things that our end user our end customer is going to be searching for so the way we were able to score this really important keyword is we use home remodel and addition in our Google business listing. Now, let's go ahead and break into the business listing here uh, just to talk through this a little more. So when we click on that listing, it's gonna bring up the, the map once again, it's gonna show location, but then I want you to see there's some more advertising here. So there are both ads and there are organic listings in this Google business listing map scenario, those two are really intertwined. So when we put together our knowledge card, our Google business listing, we really want to target those things that are going to bring about more search attention. So we want to use some of those keywords in what we do. Things like this post that says our bathroom remodel team. Uh, installing the cabinets on this kitchen. We want to use as many of those rich keywords as we can as we develop this out. We also want to fill up as much of the possible space as we have. And we want to encourage our customers to write us a paragraph when they leave a review, not just a sentence, but to really put some rich content into that Google business listing. And what's going to happen with this? So what we need to understand is Google is coming to the place Facebook is as well, where I never actually have to leave this knowledge card to do business with you. I can click the phone number and place a direct call to your office. You're getting a report from Google every month showing the number of calls you've received and are some of those calls being unanswered things of that nature. I can also send messages through this page. I can connect with the rest of your social media, but ultimately what Google is wanting to do is keep me on the page as much as possible. Get directions, I'm still in Google's environment. If I go to your website, 
I leave their environment. So they would rather give me more information here and keep me in their environment so that they can continue to advertise to me. So just a few thoughts for you right now on optimizing your Google business listing. It's becoming more critical in the days ahead. It could be potential that the only way a person finds you is they have to search for your company by name. So we really want to make sure we're taking advantage of our Google business listing so that we are showing up well in these map searches, in these uh, searches that come up before a person ever gets down to the organic listings. Anyway, reach out to us. If we can schedule a strategy session with you, we'd be happy to do that. It's free of charge. Looking forward to talking with you soon.